they're such a small component of the outfits we wear. Every day, people slip a pair on before sliding into whatever pair of shoes they decide to wear without giving a second thought. They just grab two that maybe match or maybe don't and go. But not me. I take great pride in the socks that I wear. My collection began in my junior year of high school. At the time, I was looking for something to wear in addition to my school uniform through which I could express myself. And then one day, I stumbled across all kinds of crew socks on Amazon. After browsing around for a bit, I figured, ah, what the heck, and bought a couple pairs that stood out to me. What little did I realize what I was getting myself into? The socks came in the mail, and I began wearing them to school, feeling like I'd found the perfect loophole to our dress code. And then it dawned on me, why wear patterned and themed socks just to school? Why not wear them all the time? Now, I'm a very detail-oriented person, so any pair that I would wear had to match the rest of my outfit on a given day. Granted, you could probably say that my wardrobe is considerably larger than that of the average guy. I have t-shirts for sports teams and bands, solid color t-shirts, athletic t-shirts and jerseys, golf shirts in every color on the spectrum, golf jackets, casual and dressy long sleeve button up shirts, hoodies, hiking jackets, tweed sweaters, overcoats, suits, the list goes on and on. And that's only the clothes that cover my torso. So, to begin building an adequate sock collection to accommodate the variety of my outfits and activities was going to be quite the task for me. The very first pair that I bought were Orlando Magic Crew Socks that featured team legends Penny Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal. Now, I like these socks a lot, but they cost me $15. Yes, you heard me right. I paid $15 for two socks. I am well aware of how ridiculous this may seem to a lot of people. But to me, it was worth every penny. From there, I started adding socks that were themed around patriotism, Florida State, golf, elements of pop culture such as Star Wars, and socks that were simply patterned. Everywhere I went, I would look and see if there was a pair of socks that I could acquire. Whether it was my senior trip to Tampa or my trip to the Grand Canyon before beginning college, each occasion was commemorated with a pair of socks. As the collection grew, I had more and more socks in all kinds of different patterns and colors so that now there's not an outfit that I can throw together without having at least one pair of socks that matches well with it. In total, my collection now features well over 100 pairs of socks. A bit excessive? Perhaps, but I love the variety and abundance of options that this provides me with. While they may not serve solely as a way for me to differentiate what I'm wearing from everyone else around me like they used to, they give me an opportunity to tie everything I'm wearing together and to reflect on past adventures and experiences. It's become something I'm known for among my friends, and it's great fun for me when others get a kick out of my little obsession. Though, I don't put on my pairs for them. It's an appreciation of the little things that gives so much more enjoyment and fascination in life. And for me, Part of that comes just from what I have covering my toes.